Hi, everybody. I'm Aliza Sherman, and I'm the CEO of Elementa. I'm also the author of a book called Cannabis and CBD for Health and Wellness. These are our wellness or hashtag <laughs> wellness Wednesday sessions where for 30 minutes we speak with an author, an expert, somebody who has something to share, wisdom, something around health and wellness. And today we have Kim Sarsons from, tell me where you are again. From Calgary, Alberta. Calgary, Calgary up Alberta. Canada. Up in Canada. Okay. That's, I was going to say that, but I didn't want Below to you, actually. <laughs> Oh, uh, below me when I'm in Alaska, I happen to be in the Seattle area right now. So oh, okay. Above, above me. me. <laughs> <laughs> and you are here today to talk to us about face yoga. So we want to get started. There's a lot of people here and a lot more coming in. And Thanks we're excited so to learn what in the world face yoga is. But first, tell us a little bit about yourself and your background. So I am coming to you from an educationally rich background. So I've been a school teacher for many years and I am currently working a little bit of a side gig, you could say, because I've adopted face yoga into my life. I've adopted uh, other things into my life that I incorporate into a holistic coaching practice. Mm. So that is growing on the side. I call it Tula Holistic Coaching. Tula. T-U-L-A. Okay. And what Tula actually means is balance. Mm. So this is the perfect name, I believe, because when we are well, it's because we are in balance, in body, in mind, in spirit. And when we are unwell, that is when we are out of balance in any of those ways or in a mixture of those ways. So what I do is I like to say that I teach super women to manage stress so that they can show up more confident, more energized, more um, joyful. And actually, just to throw in that as well, I help super women to manage their stress and to be more chill, I like to say. <laughs> to be more chill. <laughs> to be that's more chill. Point. That's what it's all it's about. complicated <laughs> right now. To, it it's is, a little harder yeah. to be chill right now, but... Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's one of the reasons we do this, these sessions. Yes. So I like yeah. that. <laughs> so face yoga. All right. We got to get, get right to the point here. Yes. Uh, let's do it. What in the world is face yoga? Well, can I <laughs> presume, can I assume that everybody knows what yoga is? Is that a fair yeah. assumption? Yeah, I okay. Think that's fair. So yoga being the union of mind and body, face yoga is very much aligned with that. Uh, philosophy. However, the focus is on the muscles of the face. So instead of stretching and toning your limbs, it's stretching, toning, lifting, relaxing the muscles of the face. So we often uh, don't realize how frequently we are engaging certain muscles and likewise how other muscles are frequently just left dormant. They're kind of asleep. So through face yoga exercises, there's poses, postures, there are massage techniques, there's acupressure built in. All of that helps to either, well, do, do this combination of things to activate sleeping muscles, to uh, relax those ones that are being a little bit overused, and ultimately to help with the musculature so that the skin laying over top as the muscles build underneath, the skin over top can smooth out and that gives the appearance of fewer lines and okay. folds and wrinkles and all of that stuff that we uh, see more of as years go by. Oh yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Hey, by the way, each time you bring your hands up, you're hitting your microphone. Okay. So I know that I made you put that microphone <laughs> on and the, head, and the headset. So just be really mindful. I will be very aware. Yeah. 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 So, uh, but you did tell me that the exercises you'll be demoing shortly don't even involve the hands. So that's good. That's quite interesting to, to figure out how we can do this. Cause I've seen pictures of people doing face yoga and they're pulling and they're doing things with their hands. So yeah, that um, is a large part of it. Uh, oh. But for today's demo, I thought I would use hands-free. 
Well, mm -hmm. and the other good thing about using hands-free is we're not supposed to touch our faces. That's right. <laughs> and I agree with something that we touch our face thousands of times a day, just subconsciously without even knowing that. So being able to do something like this that doesn't involve hand touching face mm -hmm. is a, mm -hmm. a really good thing. Yeah. Um, so what, what were you doing uh, that led you up to deciding this is what you want to get certified in? Well, I have a bit of a story. I'll keep it. I'll try to nutshell it. But um, back in 2016, I found myself uh, quite ill and in need of a, of a couple of surgeries. And the time uh, that I was in recuperation, um, I ended up losing a tremendous amount of weight. And what that did, I mean, physically, it depleted me and um, on my face it just created a lot of loss of muscle tone Hi and back everything. There. And, <laughs> you have a family uh, member walking by. <laughs> oh, that's my daughter. Homeschooling. Oh, well, of course, we get it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so um, after a second surgery, I started to put my weight back on, but my face had fallen, it had sunken, I had hollowed eyes, I had hollow cheeks. I just looked as though I had aged probably 20 years in... A matter of months and face yoga just happened to show up on my Facebook feed as things naturally do when we I guess put the energy out there things show up and I thought this is what I need because I was I didn't recognize myself anymore and it really affected my confidence it affected um, just how I, I carried myself this whole journey of unwellness uh, it created a massive shift in, in me in many, many ways. So in order to restore that sense of identity of a, of a well person, of a healthy person, when I uh, encountered face yoga, I thought, this is it. Oh my God, I need this. And I started practicing it and I started knowing, uh, noticing differences, um, lifting and, and sort of sculpting my face a little bit more. And then when I realized that I could become certified, and teach other people, I just jumped at that opportunity. So it's a bit of a bit of a story. Like I didn't come to it by searching for it. It found me, as many things do in life. And uh, I just thought this is something that I need to know. And as a as a teacher, as an educator, I just naturally had that that need to teach others. So well. I know that you've talked about the fact that you can, if anybody can, if they so choose, use cannabis as an enhancement to doing face yoga. And for those out there who are interested in trying face yoga with cannabis, why, why would that work? What does it do? So I incorporate the two with whoever wants by talking to the fact that, um, Face yoga teaches others to tune in, to connect more to the mind, to the physical, and to learn to recognize um, some, in this case, facial habits, and, and pay closer attention to what's actually going on. So what cannabis can allow is for that settling and that grounding mm -hmm. and that ability to connect on a more deeper on a deeper level level with the physical um, cannabis as well uh, is great at addressing things like inflammation a lot of people struggle with uh, inflammatory issues that show up on the skin um, as well anxiety so if you're if you're feeling anxiety or stressed and, and overwhelmed a great way to to come back down is to use cannabis to settle. And when you become settled, then you can pay attention. You can observe yourself, look in the mirror, do some exercises and, and just uh, take your self care up uh, another, uh, up elevate, a notch. Yeah. Your self care. Yeah. yeah. What about CBD though? Would CBD have similar benefits? Well, as far as helping with the anxiety, and bringing that down. Yes, absolutely. And so, the inflammation too, really. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah. So when I said cannabis, I was referring more to, to the CBD cannabinoid. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, cannabis in general, though, the whole yeah. relaxation of it, uh, mm -hmm. I'm sure. And, and it, does, it does make you more introspective. So the THC would be the one that alters your perception, makes you more introspective, potentially. Mm -hmm. Whereas the CBD is that anti-anxiety that you were just talking mm -hmm. about. Mm -hmm. um, which would be really good for face yoga. I, I think we should start. I think we okay. should start the demo. Everyone out there, make sure you've washed your hands. I have washed my hands and I've used my uh, hand sanitizer. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna take my glasses off now. Uh, I had asked before, should I be on camera? Because normally we do guided meditations, which are very different. Um, and just so I shut my camera off. But Kim says that uh, I should be essentially the, the uh, face yoga model and she will be commenting on things that I might be doing right or wrong which in turn hopefully will help you uh, master the art of face yoga so I will take off my glasses I can't see a thing now <laughs> a nice little blur you see the blur <laughs> I, see, I see the blur <laughs> okay so I will do my best to give explicit verbal instructions as well as dem as demonstrating but the first thing that we want to do is you already mentioned having clean hands. It's good to come to face yoga with a clean and moisturized face. Uh, some of the oh yeah, postures, we're not going to touch our face, even though my hands were clean. right. Some because okay, I had forgotten about that. Okay, right. Some of the postures in face yoga. There's more than seventy postures in the face yoga method. Um, some of them involve using the hands, but for our demo today, hands free. Okay. So we're going to start simply by getting into alignment. So I'm sitting in a chair. And you can do this on the floor, you can do this sitting on your bed. Just make sure that your back is nice and straight, your shoulders are square. Yeah, it's good to roll out a little bit. And we'll start with a simple breathing exercise. So the, and you can do this with your eyes open or closed, it's entirely up to you. But this is the four, seven, eight breath, which is a breath that encourages relaxation so it's it's wonderful to do before face yoga it's great to do when you are feeling a little bit overwhelmed and need to to restore your your sense of calm uh, the four seven eight works like this so for a count of four you inhale when you reach four you hold your breath for seven and you exhale to a count of eight so inhale for four, and we'll do this in our own time. I'll just guide it. Hold for seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and exhale for eight. We'll do that two more times on your time. So inhale for four, hold for seven, Exhale for eight. Okay. So this is to bring in that nice sense of calm so that we can start. So we'll start with our first facial exercise and this is called the detox breath so i'll demo it first and then i'll encourage you to do three on your own so if you practice yoga you're probably familiar with this what you do is you inhale through your nose and when you exhale you open your mouth wide you open your eyes wide without raising your eyebrows and you stick your tongue out on the exhale. So it looks like this. Inhale. Okay. Join me, Elisa. Okay. <laughs> Inhale. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not the only one who's explaining this. Like, absolutely wonderfully joyful and hilarious. Okay. Right, I'll try it again. In, inhale. Good job. It reminds me of the Maoris, if you're familiar with the Maori yes. warriors at all. Yeah. I actually call my face yoga practice glow up face yoga 
And when you break glow up face yoga into its acronym, it spells goofy. So if you're feeling goofy right now, perfect. <laughs> okay, got it. All right. So our objective with this series that we're going to do, I'm calling it the elemental lift. The elemental lift. Because of the event. Yes. yes. We okay. are relaxing, we are activating, and we are lifting. So the first exercise is to help with circulation. We want to bring the blood flow to the face. That helps with cellular turnover and regeneration. So it's called the big O. It's activating more of the lower face. You simply put your mouth into an O shape like this. And hold that for a nice five count. And relax. I keep wanting to pucker. You're not and puckering, right? No, no. Okay. So, so your lips are kind of curled over your teeth very yeah. gently without putting much strain on the jaw. Don't put much strain on the jaw. If I'm feeling it here, I, I have a little TMJ. If I feel it here, do I do less or just do it slowly? Like, what should I? So good question. Just like in yoga, we only want to push ourselves as far as we should go. Okay. We don't want to surpass that. So if you notice that opening wider aggravates that, that uh, joint mm -hmm. and just soften it a little bit. Okay. okay so yeah. we're going to do the big O and then we're going to transition into the wow. And then we're going to do an eye bag toner. So it's a, it's a sequence. <clears throat> so we've got the, the big O like this. I'll show you the wow and then we'll put it all together. So the wow starts with a big O, and then you simply say, wow. 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 Like that. Now you're doing a really good job, Elisa, because you're, you're keeping your forehead relaxed. Oh, good. I very, was worried about good. my eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's natural to go, wow, <laughs> and for the eyebrows to go up, and that creates the lines in the forehead, and... We don't want that. Okay. So the third part of this series is the eye bag toner. So after we do five wows, we'll go to, into the eye bag toner for five, a, a five count. And it looks like this. It's the big O with the eyes gazing upward. So it looks like this. Wow. Okay. So let's put all of those together and we'll keep it to a, a five pattern. So we'll okay. hold the big O for five seconds or a five count. We'll do five wows and then we'll transition into the eye bag toner for five seconds. At some point, okay. we should bring everyone on to video that we can fit. And have <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Okay, all right, I'm ready. Okay, you ready? Go. Yeah. So big O, five wows and the eye bag toner. Wow, 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 wow. Looking up. And come down. <laughs> and what you should start to notice is a little bit of a tingling sensation in your cheeks, maybe oh, yeah. in your eyes. There's more than 50 muscles in the face. Yeah. So there's, a, there's quite a lot to um, activate. Mm. And also, there are some that, that just sit dormant for so long mm -hmm. that it's very hard to activate. Or we have some that are more dominant than others. So that ability to lift one eyebrow and not the other, <laughs> that kind of thing. I can't do that, but yeah, <laughs> I know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so that's to stimulate circulation. And you can do that, you know, you could do a series of, say, three or four or five, and you can do this anywhere, right? You can do it in the car, you can do it at home, you can do it in the shower, you can do it really anywhere. Um, the next one we're going to do is going to help activate and stretch and bring circulation to the neck area. The neck is one of the first parts of the face, because I call the face from the head to about shoulder level. Um, to show signs of age, usually in the form of like lines around the neck, a bit of a turkey neck, 
or uh, double chin even. So this exercise will counteract all of that. It's making me so, <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> okay, good, Let, let's counteract. Okay, so this is called kiss the sky. And you pucker your lips a bit, not like this, more of an open pucker, like that. And then you simply tilt your chin back. So I'll demonstrate and then you can, you can try it. Give that a try. And if it, and what you can do to, to enhance the stretch is you can push your lower jaw up toward the sky. And you get this lovely long elongated neck. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so as you can imagine, if you do this, every day, a few times a day, over time, you're going to see the neck and the chin start to tone up. So uh, are we holding it for a five count when we're looking up and then? That's a good starting back. point. Yeah, okay. that's a good starting point and then come back and recenter and go up again. So we can do that a few times. Okay. Shall we do that? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So let's go up. Come down, relax, and try it one more time. Let's do it in threes. Again, you don't want to go too far back that it hurts your neck. Some people do have neck issues. Okay. Um, the next one, this is our second last one, because our objective here is to relax, activate, and lift. So the next one is the smile lifter. So for this one, you will bring your, your chin forward a little bit, kind of like the bulldog. And then instead of having your face, it tends to want to turn down. You want to turn your, the corners of your mouth up. Mm -hmm. What this does as you're holding it, I'll talk. What this does is it activates the cheeks and it helps bring those uh, corners that will come down with gravity in time, helps to train them to go up. You look so happy. <laughs> ah, ooh, yeah. And then when you come out of it, a good counter pose to that, because that one is we're trying to lift, a good counter pose to that is the big O again. So you can transition from the smile lifter and then come out and do the big O. Yep. And you might feel that your mouth is just starting to fall more into a gentle smile as your default pose. Oh, nice. Our default pose has another name, right? <laughs> the one that looks like a passport photo, the resting face, the resting B face. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, by being aware of that face and what it looks like, it helps to um, it helps to remind you of what energy you're putting out there. Mm. Maybe not intentionally, but if you just turn the corners of your mouth up a little bit and shift that default expression to more of a gentle smile, then the world will react to you in a radically different way. Because <laughs> they'll turn see this frown upside down. That's right. They'll see your smiling face. And they'll be, oh, what a lovely, what a lovely person. Okay, <laughs> the last one, oh, and these are great for before you do any photos, right? You want to activate your face before any photos. The last one focuses on the lips. It's called the lip plumper. And of course, it's designed to plump up the lips. So we want to get the circulation flowing. You simply wrap your uh, lips around your teeth like this. You stick your tongue out and you clamp down on your tongue. Mm -hmm. And you can hold that for about a five count. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to do it till it hurts, but 
what, again, just like the other activation exercises, you should probably feel a little bit of tingling in there. And it works perfectly well with the smile lifter to just, just amp up your, your uh, expression. It makes you look happy. So that was my sequence. Our cool down, and it, it might not, I might, it'll be, I'll try to be aware of my mic here. But the okay. cool down after face yoga is just tapping. So just, it's like dancing kind of from the top of your head, across your forehead, and around the back of your head, under, gently under your eyes. You can come down your neck. Try not to hit my... Try not to hit the microphones up, you and me, yeah. we'll right there. <laughs> yeah. 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 Ah, how was that? That was actually really interesting. <laughs> I don't think a single one of those movements was a natural one that you just normally would do, maybe accidentally do or inadvertently do, but they were like these unique movements that I mm -hmm. haven't ever done. And I have been told many times that I have an extremely expressive face and they don't always mean that in a compliment. I, I tend to just really always make faces when I speak. Mm -hmm. And so the more video I do, the more I'm trying to always keep my face in sort of the news anchor resting face without it being a resting bee face. Uh, and so I know I activate my face a whole lot, but all of these were very different movements. So yes. I found that interesting. And the tingling piece I found interesting as well. You know, we're uh, getting toward the end of our time. So what I'd love to do is uh, ask every, anybody if they have any questions, you could type it into the chat right now. Uh, type your question here. Uh, Kim, I'm sure is willing to hang out just for a few more minutes and uh, make sure that we address any questions that any of you have. Hopefully everyone was trying this at home <laughs> because this is not a dangerous thing. But oh, yeah, that is a question I have. Are there any other than the advice you gave, like yoga, back off, uh, and only stay at the place that you're most comfortable where you do not feel pain. Any other um, caveats? So you're not doing something you shouldn't be doing, injuring or something like that. Well, the more that you learn, the more you realize how different postures might be creating lines somewhere else. So this is where the hands come into play. So for example, there are more cheek activating and lifting postures, which can, because everything is connected, mm -hmm. right? The muscles in the face are connected to one another. So if you're lifting your cheeks, it's natural for those crow's feet. Mm -hmm. Smile lines, I'm gonna call them. Smile lines. <laughs> them to show up. So mm -hmm. simply by, engaging the hands and smoothing out those lines when you're working on a particular area can help to be preventative because we don't want to do an exercise that ends up creating like addressing a problem somewhere and creating a problem someplace oh. else which is why you're saying if i'm exercising the bottom of my face make sure i don't lift my eyebrows and create lines on my forehead mm -hmm. yeah and you can always freeze your forehead just plant your hand right across it and freeze it mm -hmm. Uh, and that makes, that makes awareness too. When you touch your forehead, you're now suddenly aware of when it's moving. Yes. A little exercise you can do is cut a slice of cucumber, just a little round slice of cucumber, put it right there and go about your day. <laughs> <laughs> and if it falls yeah. off, you've, you've wrinkled your forehead. <laughs> yeah. It, if it falls off, it's because you're activating your forehead. This is a place where a lot of tension builds up. The, the tension if we think about the manifestation of, of, of tension in the body, it comes from stress in the mind, or it might come from an injury in the body, but we carry it in our body we, by tightening up and tensing up, and that just yeah. creeps up onto the face so naturally. And then it scrunches right there. Yeah, and, right there. and even habits that we have, like being on a cell phone and looking down, what that's doing is creating a tech neck situation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's contributing to the lines. So if you're on your phone, maybe yeah. hold it up here. Uh, there's a little fun little um, game you can play. <laughs> Put your phone on camera mode. Take it just in front of you like this, looking at it with that passport face, I'll call it. 
<laughs> and then bring it down parallel to the floor. Look down. You'll notice what gravity is doing. Wow. And then just to um, give you some motivation, positive motivation, put the camera up, look up, and you will see that nice pulled back version of your face, the, the, the past face, we call it. So we have the future face, the present face, and the past face. Wow. So uh, I would even suggest when you're doing that, take a picture at yes. each pose because then you yes. can really, really examine them side by side. Yes. You know, Kathy asked, uh, how can you get more information about this? Why don't you give everybody your, inf and also if you can type it in, give your website address so they can find out more from you. And if sure. there's any other resources, is there an app? Is there something else that we can get that you would recommend so we could uh, enrich our practice? Well, of course, I would love to teach all of you. <laughs> um, so I have a website where you can find out more about workshops and that kind of thing. And considering the times, uh, I'll be doing plenty more online. So what the, what the community wants will drive what I do and what I create. But like everyone else, my, my mission now is to share this in a more digital way manner so i've got my website i've got right, my tell me your tell me your website address i'm going to type it in okay it's tula ula -A -A canna c-a-n-n-a mm -hmm. coach.com okay and just to remind everybody uh it does not have to be done with cannabis or cbd no not at, at all. all no 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 so but, but if you're into that she's very yeah. receptive to that so yeah um, i'm at Yep. To, Tula underscore holistic. I'm just typing it into the chat. Oh, good. Uh, Facebook page at Glow Up Face Yoga. Glow a, Up Face Yoga. Yeah. Okay, good. And I don't know if I need to ha put my email, but... No, no, that's fine. I, no. I think that that's fine. If they find your website, which was tulacanacoach.com then they can get in touch with you through your website. Yes, yes, yes. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for being here. We'll certainly have you on again because this was a lot of fun. I learned a lot in a very short <laughs> amount of time. All right. Take care, everybody. Thanks so much. We will be editing this afterward. And if you've registered, you will get a recording. All right. Take care, everyone.